Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well and utilizing this quarantine time efficiently. So today we are going to discuss the code forces round 630, second problem composite coloring. So let me first explain you the problem statement. So you are given an array of composite integers. Now you need to note that you are given an array of not any kind of integers but composite integers. And now what you need to do is you need to color each of these in integers with with some color and the colors are from 1 2 3 up till 11 now there there are three conditions that you need to follow while doing this coloring first is that every integer has to be colored with exactly one color so for every integer you can choose any of these 11 colors and color them so each integer takes any one of these 11 colors and gets colored so any integer cannot have more than two colors or cannot be left uncolored so there is exactly one color with which an integer is colored okay so that was the first condition second condition is okay uh, what I told is the second condition the first condition is that uh, if you are saying that you are using five colors, suppose you are saying that you, is, you are using five colors, so you can use only the colors one, two, three, four, five. Okay. First of all, you have to use five colors and these five colors have to be one, two, three, four and five. It cannot be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So if you are saying you are using five colors, that means you are, use, you are starting from one and you are going till five. And, and then uh, one more condition is that if you're saying that you're using five colors, then all of these five colors have to be used once. So there has to be one element, at least one element that is colored with any one of these five colors. You're getting my point. So one gets, uh, so any one of these elements get colored with one, any one of these elements get colored with two and so on with three, four and five. So, uh, and the last and the most important condition is that for all those elements which are colored with the same color, what you need to note, uh, what you need to take care of is for all those elements which are colored with the same color, their greatest common divisor or the HCF of all those numbers has to be greater than or equal to one. So that is, uh, they shouldn't be co-prime. So there is some number greater than one that divides all of them. So now how to do this problem. So the first thing that you need to notice here is that you don't have prime numbers in this array. So, so this could be a hint that you have to do something with prime numbers. Now what are the prime numbers that we have? So why not because we have uh, 11, 11 colors. So why not take first 11 colors and, and see uh, and see what happens but uh, but we'll not go that way we'll, we'll think something so we need to we, we need to look for composite integers we need to look for composite integers such that they are uh, they are uh, so such that they are uh, and also and also one thing that I uh, forgot to mention is that these composite all these composite integers will be less than thousand so you won't have anything greater than thousand so uh, if we see that we need to find a composite integers uh, integer which is only made of uh, prime numbers so uh, what can we do if we, if we think that if we take five if we take 25 so this is a composite integer which is made of fives so we know that if if i have a 25 and and uh, uh, what to say if I have a 25 and a 33 suppose so these are uh, both of these are composite numbers and we have to color them differently because uh, they are co-prime to each, each other because this is 5 square and this is 3 into 11 so we don't have anything common that divides both of them except one so uh, so we have to color them differently so why not uh, why not take first 11 integers uh, first 11 prime numbers so this is 2 3 uh, 5 
7, 11, 13, uh, 15, no, 17, 19, 21, not 23, 25, 27, 29, and 31. So, are we done with 11? So, 3, 3, 6, 3, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. So, these are the first uh, 11 prime numbers. So, now, our, um, now what we say is, uh, our, 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 um, our logic is that any composite number given that is within 1000 will will be divided by will be uh, divisible by any one of these 11 prime numbers so by this we can uh, we can safely color all the composite integers with only 11 colors why because uh, because uh, we say that we can have a set we can have a set of 11 numbers suppose suppose we have uh, 4 suppose we have 4 9 25 49 all the squares 121 169 and so on all these squares a square of these numbers so that is the worst case when we need to use all the 11 colors because if we the moment we add a 12th composite integer in this array what will happen is that we can reuse a color that we have used because it will be divisible by any one of these colors so i hope you're getting what i'm trying to say so what we now to to fail this logic what we need to find out we need to find out a composite integer which is formed of any one of any prime number except these okay so uh, so if we say that if we see that 31 into 31 is 961 so we are very close to 1000 so this gives a hint that we will not be able to find out a composite integer which is made of only prime numbers and those prime numbers are not within this list so the best we can do that the next prime number after this is uh, 37 so we can use 37 square but we know that 37 square will go way beyond 1000 so so by this we can say that if we if, if we uh, use these prime numbers then we'll be able to uh, solve our problem efficiently because uh, given any composite integer it will be within thousand it will be divisible by any one of these prime numbers now uh, now the question is how we solve this problem so uh, let's uh, let's try to code this out uh, so what we do is uh, what we do is suppose we have uh, we take the input Sorry. Take the input. Uh, the next is the number of elements in an array. Then what we have is the list. Now, what we can do is we can keep these numbers in a dictionary. Now we can keep these numbers in a dictionary. And what we can do if what happens if we hard code uh, hard code the colors for these prime numbers then that is a problem suppose i say i'll give uh, one to all the numbers that are divisible by two two to all the numbers that are divisible by three five uh, five the color three to all the numbers that are divisible by five and so on so what happens suppose i have a composite integer array of uh, suppose i have nine and 961 so these are the two numbers so we see that 9 is divisible by 3 so we give a color of 2 to 9 and we say uh, we see 961 is divisible by 31 so we give it a color of 11 because this will be the last thing 11 now the problem is that we cannot do that because we are using two colors if you are using two colors then those colors have to be 1 and 2 only that cannot be 1 and 11 3 or 4 or anything so the colors has to start from one and it should go uh, till the number that we are specifying so that is the problem so what uh, so what we need to notice that we cannot hard code it like this so we cannot say that two is given one three is given two so we'll have to uh, choose colors according to the problem so but then also uh, we will use a dictionary suppose this is the dictionary that we are using if we say one is given 
so we are not assigning the color as of now so we take one is given minus one or let's say one is given 12 because we don't we know that 12 is not a color two is given 12 and we can uh, what we can do is we can copy it from here so we know that three is given 12 uh, this is given 12 so we give everything 12 and we put commas as well so 12 and 12 so now so this is our dictionary so what we will now be doing that we keep a count to give the colors and then what we'll do this is the answer where we'll, where we'll be storing the colors that we are giving to all these composite integers one by one so for i in uh, c for every composite number what we do is uh, for uh, mm, for j in 10 so we check for the divisibility we check if i mod j equal to equal to to zero that is if this composite number is divisible so let's take this example if this composite number is divisible by uh, any one of the keys so we iterate over the keys and we see by which key it is divisible this composite number if it is divisible what we what we can do is we need to see that if uh, if the value for that key is equal to 12 that is we haven't used this color as of now we are using it for the first time so what we do is we give temp of j equal to count we give it a value count we give it the count value and we increment the count value we increment the count value now what we can simply do is because we only do it for the first time we are using the color because uh, now we assign that now for this color we are using uh, for this key that is for this prime number we are using this specific color now once we have given a key a specific color suppose in this case we are doing four so for, for okay we don't have one here i'm oh, sorry my bad we don't have one here we start from two three five seven eleven thirteen seventeen nineteen twenty three and thirty one so we don't have one obviously so for 4 we see that it is divisible by 2 so we make this is we make this 1 so we know that any other number which is divisible by 2 we give it one color the color 1 so we do it only for the first time we increment the count that is we have used color 1 now we will be using color 2 so we append answer uh, temp of j we append the answer that is uh, this is the color that we have given and what we can do is we can break so we will be breaking out of this loop that is uh, if 4 is divisible by 2 we don't need to check it with other numbers okay we can break it so now what we can do is now we have done this will give colors to all the composite numbers now what we can do is simply print count so one thing that you notice you, you will be printing count minus 1 because uh, uh, at the very last time you are incrementing count so uh, while printing the answer, you'll have to decrement it once. Now, you have, finally, you can uh, print uh, the array. You can print the answer array. Uh, now, uh, let's let's see if this works or not. So, let me copy the test case that was given. Mm, yeah. Let's see if this works or not. So, yeah, it works, I guess. So, for this. Uh, what's the problem? Why oh, yeah, I have given one only? Six, ten, fifteen. So there's some problem because I was not supposed to give one, one, one. Uh, okay, can we give one, one, one? Okay, yeah, we can give one, one, one because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Because six, ten has a common uh, division two. Six, fifteen has three. Ten, fifteen has uh, five yeah so we can give everything one 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 so that's perfectly fine uh, for this also we can give can we can we give one one to both of them 
I don't think so. We cannot give one one to both of them. Why are we giving one one? Because if it's if it's four nine, then what we'll have to do is we'll have to check. There's some mistake. There's some mistake. Uh, we'll have to is we'll have to check. I I I'm sure that you guys have found out the mistake, but I'm struggling a bit. Uh, okay, okay, sorry. My bad. I have changed this to one, so this has to be twelve. Now this will be working fine. Yeah, so I've given one two, so because I changed this to one, so it was uh, it was not working properly. And for this, we see that we are using ten colors, and uh, we are uh, you are, we are using all the colors one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Yeah, so we are using ten colors, and we are using all those ten colors, and we are not using eleven as well. So that's all for this problem. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if you want me to do for other problems as well, like C D E or anything. So please write down below in the comment section and be safe. Uh, utilize your quarantine time properly. Thank you. Bye bye.